Hello, welcome to Retro Toy Princess. I'm Allison Troy, and with me today is Aaron, the toy and answer. Hello, Aaron. Hey, how's it going? Hey, everyone. Good. I like that was very like like we haven't been gossiping backstage for like thirty minutes now. Very good. Right. Telling our life stories. Yeah, <laughs> warning you about the dangers of messaging on social. So social. Now that you're a toy tuber, <laughs> we're gonna throw the throw the uh, ticker up just so everybody remembers. Today, as always, Moby is trash. Moby is trash. All right, <laughs> and we've got Thanos. Good morning, Thanos. Hello, uh, and yeah. <clears throat> so, what's up, Thanos? Yeah, people start trickling in. That's a nice thing about. 11 a.m. and well, West Coast time, anyhow. Right. Um, it's in the middle of people's day. So <laughs> um, let's get the formality so that we can just get to the art part. And the, the part that's most important, obviously, to us is the talk and smack about things and people. Yes. Um, speaking about <laughs> talk and smack about things and people, it's Tony. His fat <laughs> fingers had me sending him messages this morning, like, Are you okay, dude? What's up, bro? <laughs> what's up tony figs yeah tony it's it's okay tony that you don't know how to use a phone we get it we've all been there <laughs> anyway um so quickly the official stuff we are coloring uh pictures from a gi joe coloring book today aaron picked a couple pictures one of them was mochu which was tempting but i actually had co just colored that picture with cobweb and i'm like i'm not gonna repeat the page um, right and but Punk we'll was doing to... Smurfs, so we had to do G.I. Joe. Yeah, right? We, we had, had to, to do Joe. somebody has to. Well, <laughs> and it's funny. You picked Shipwreck, which who doesn't think of Lawrence and Shipwreck? So um, I never do. I do all the time now because he had like 3,000 of them that one Christmas. That's why nobody else got Shipwreck that year because Lawrence <laughs> had them all. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Anyway, so uh, there were two pictures that, well, that he picked from the G.I. Joe book. I printed them both out. Um, everyone here so far looks like my normal viewer, so you all know I print them all out. I think I'm going to get more than one and then only do one. Um, because the fancier I get with this stuff, the longer it takes. Um, so I've, and this is the same one Aaron is doing. It's uh, G.I. Joe has taken over a Cobra More hydrofoil, which is, you know, sounds like should be in that John Travolta Grease Lightning song, hydrofoil. Yes. Um, is that, is that normally how you do it? We'll, we'll, I'll, or do I, or could I draw the other one? Um, if you want to do the other one, you're certainly welcome to, whichever of the two. Um, yeah, no, your call. Hmm. Um, Decisions, decisions. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, let's see. Crusio Crow is popping in to say he's got a minute. He has to go get. This is why I don't have children, but. <laughs> What's up, Crow? I got cats. Um, What's the like button about? Um, you should smack the like button. Like it's um, like it's a child who just got too mouthy with you. Just smack that like. Just kidding. Do not abuse your children. Um, never. Never. Good morning, Black Phoenix. Lovely to see you. Um, yeah, do the backgrounds first. That's the Alice. It's true. I always do the backgrounds first, um, partly because people stop watching your shorts if you do the person first. Because that's what they're watching for. They want to see the skin and the hair. So if you do the background first, they're more likely to watch all of the video rather than watching the part that most interests them. That's how you trick people into watching your content. Hmm. So it's it's like if you had a G.I. Joe channel and you kept saying, oh, there's going to be this Target exclusive thing that never happens. People will keep walking you in for like... <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be too happy about that. Huh? They would not. Like, anyway. Anyway, so yeah. So in this particular picture, if I remember what was happening in the coloring book, the G.I. Joe team is still in the Co Cobra More Hydrofoil. They're at Viper. It's a Viper Island or Cobra Island. Um, should be Viper Island, yeah. Viper, I think Viper Island. So anyway, they're still in a hydrofoil from Viper Island. So there's some poetry there. If you think it's an awesome it. picture to see uh, all the Joes. 
<laughs> and a nice uh, clever vehicle. Yeah, and so this is Roadblock, and then um, the guy with the what's his name? The guy with the uh, is that Mutt or is no? It's not Mutt. The guy with the um, fourteen shirt. That's Bazooka in the Bazooka. back. Okay, so Shipwreck. We all know Shipwreck. Thank you, Lawrence. Yeah, Lady J. And who's this guy in the front? I, d I don't know. Um, is that sci-fi, you guys? I'm gonna have to crow if you can. Uh, we'll probably zoom or not zoom in, but uh, I know yours would probably be a little better if you put your pop your one screen up. Oh. Maybe we can get this identified because I was thinking it was sci-fi for some reason. Let's see. Trust the force um, is here, and that is. Vector, thank you for arriving. Um, I'm not reading any of the current. I have got a stack of Hama G.I. Joe Real American Hero that I have not read. And when I say a stack, about three years worth of singles. Because, you know, that's how I roll. Um, good morning, Toy Mama. Giraffe says it's part of I'm going to believe Karaf because he doesn't have enough vowels in his name. And I've learned people that don't have vowels in their name and have too many consonants normally know stuff. Graf. So, yeah, up, it's Graf? pretty bad. So, um, I am behind on my comics. So, Trust in uh, the force. <laughs> um, based on some feedback I got from a very helpful viewer on TikTok, because we all know TikTok is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start with a brown prismacolor chestnut. It's chestnut brown. So anyway. Okay. Um, so and that's sort of gets to one of my questions. I asked my guests, what are you coloring with today, Aaron? Um, I have some very cheap um I forget the name of these cheap pencils that um I grabbed from Ross for five bucks. Okay. And I like them because there's three stacks. They're all they're basically the same color, but Three stacks. I figured I could use them for like highlight and stuff and whatnot. And um, they have a cool little grip. So I can have those. And then I have just a simple Crayola 24 pack. Crayola pencil. People talk smack about Crayola, but um, it's actually a pretty good set of pencils. I, um, because I can't do anything um, without overdoing it, I have the 50 set. Um, and I think that. Uh, for Lawrence's sake, because Lawrence was going to use Crayola crayons. Mm -hmm. and, um, since my southern accent is out, because Aaron is from the south, <laughs> it's harder for me as I get older to moderate my accent. I just start, I've heard it so much already this morning. So, <laughs> I'm just my, my creeps up in there and it just goes wild sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I used to always, when I lived in the South, people were like, you talk so proper. It's like, yes, I, I know how people think of those of us from the South when you can hear the Southern in it. Um, <laughs> but I get tired. I get too many drinks at happy hour. I'm around Southern people who have an accent. It starts slipping out and I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah. Because I'm old enough now rip. that I know I'm smarter than most people. So you can think I'm dumb. That just puts you at a disadvantage because you've just underestimated me. <laughs> so, yeah. um, let's see. You're getting a compliment for your sweatshirt. Thank you. Trust. I just popped up and seen that. Thank you, Trust in the Force. I appreciate it. Yep. You should check their channel out. Um, it is part of Vactor's, the Vactor Channel Network. Um, okay. All their four, he does Star Wars shorts. There, he also does some really great superhero shorts, and then longer mm -hmm. content where he talks about all the good things. So, let's see, three stuff. Well, we'll definitely check it out. <laughs> right? Yeah. YouTube checks. Uh, checks. YouTube corrects, corrects, corrupts all of our thought processes sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, so. Anyway, so yeah, I'm doing, I'm just going to do some brown for these rocks. Um, because why not? I figure there's a lot of brown at Viper Island. Yes. Yes. First stop to Brown Town. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Superheroes and Star Wars. See, like, and that's the content that speaks to me. So I'm going to have, Vector and I are trying to figure out a time for him to join um, to join me on one of these. And we may have to do a pre-record because he has a pretty, um, you know, scheduling is hard on Sundays for peeps. Yeah. Uh, 
but um because i've got all these cool superhero coloring books on pages um and i could just get him to talk about all these cool superheroes so anyway no. sure. i plan to dominate I, you know like i'm so far knock on wood i'm the only person coloring old coloring books on the internet on youtube <laughs> such a great niche to have though when it's, up, like, it's uh i've never seen it before and when i when i i first seen one of your videos it was a short and um it was it was that fast motion um you know time lapse and i was like oh my goodness this is so satisfying <laughs> like, uh, and interesting it's stuff that i i remember coloring a lot yeah. of these pages yeah a lot of these are stuff i had as a kid and um would color over and over um mm -hmm. and now i've made it unnecessarily complicated by buying the books scanning them and then i can print them out on fancy paper and i can color over and over with, without having to go buy a new book so right um and then i can turn it into content because you're not you're nobody in the modern in 2024 if you haven't taken something you love and turned it into work so <laughs> what we're best at that's what we're best at like <laughs> thanks that's the that's a gen x thing i think we can't just have stuff for pleasure it has to somehow <laughs> and we've definitely passed that on to the millennials hmm. those poor kids like overachieve all you want you're not getting any anywhere at least we knew that it's like we know that we're not going to conquer the world through our hobbies the way we've turned them into work but it's, it just makes it easier for us to justify doing these fun things. Absolutely. So, I mean, yeah, we I, won't, you won't make it happen in one day, but <laughs> right? I will say though, like there are days where my day job, like is pretty discouraging. Just, you know, I work in, um, I don't like to talk about it, but I work in insurance billing, mm -hmm. which insurance is fun. Um, not, um, you know, but there are days where it's like I sit there and like I just have to make it through and then I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm gonna sit down and film some coloring videos and it's gonna be great. Yes. And I'll lose four to six hours coloring. So Right. Which is great. So it's it's good because uh, I mean to like come home and to relax and know that we can get the escape from our our, our work life or, or anything hectic, you know, and we're just going to go down here and basically meditate, you know, and do what we like. And it's a very, very good feeling sometimes. And Duchess is here. Good morning, Duchess of Darkness. Lovely to see you today. Hello. Um, and Hello, Duchess. And people watching who don't know Duchess, look her up on YouTube. If you miss, um, like, Tales from the Crypt and Elvira and all of the sort of fun horror hosts of yesteryear, um, she narrates great creepy stories here on YouTube. So nice. I did check her out a few days ago. I, I believe you shared um, her Insta or, or her page. One yeah, of the I, I sh I, she posted on Instagram and it pops up in my feed. I am going to share it because she's got yeah. some good stuff. Yeah, I checked it out. It's awesome. Yeah. Again, sort of a nice little corner of YouTube that isn't mr beast that people should check out yes hello highly articulated aka adam he's here and he's out which is you know typical of adam i need to get adam on here some morning <laughs> we'll make that there's that's the thing there's so many people i want to have on here because there's so many cool people doing cool stuff so <laughs> um and you're here because you kept saying like I need to come on and color with you, and I'm like, okay, yes. I'm super enthusiastic. I don't have to chase him <laughs> <them> down. <laughs> I've been yeah. wanting to, to uh, color, and I, I I I know how some people warm up. I was like, I'm just gonna go in there and do what I I always did when I was a, a yeah. kid, and I've colored in my 20s and 30s too. I've I've sat down and colored my kids a lot, but just not here lately. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, I'm not going to practice or anything. I'm just going to cold start this mug and start, <laughs> just right. get going on it. Well, there's nothing, yeah. Like that's the thing, sort of. I only warm up so that um, my hand doesn't fall asleep and I can make it the whole live stream. Right. Um, yeah. 
in the beginning, very now, like I can, you know, I can go a couple hours. I, you know, like yesterday from like noon to two a.m. I did mm-hmm. like I did like five pages yesterday. So in the coming weeks, you'll get to see the fruits of all of that, all that time. But um, but you know, it's also taken almost a year of coloring daily to get to a point where I can go all day. and you know the loveliness of the sleeve, which according to the girl yeah. on TikTok doesn't make any sense that I wear fingerless gloves. I should stop. Oh, I, I I totally thought that was a great idea. I was I was like, I'm. It probably just gives you that smooth react. Um, you know, doesn't blemish up the uh, the pencils. First of all, Not I'm sure that. Much. Yeah. And then just the smooth run of it. I was like, man, that's a great idea. Also, when you have eczema breakouts, you don't show people. Oh yeah. Dirty hands. Yeah. I get them. I get it really bad on my knuckles. Um, and uh, some sometimes. On, on my wrist side, but yeah, I understand the eczema. Yeah, I, uh, seems like stress really brings that on nowadays. Uh, for me, it's stress and super cold weather. So yes, I, cold weather when it when it's soup when it changes rapidly. Yeah. I live in the Pacific Northwest, so we get quite a bit of <clears throat> the cold weather. And yeah. I was tired of like I really want to film some videos, but. And then, and then I was like, well, I'll just wear one of my gloves. Like when I have to go to the grocery store with the, yeah, my, my I'll, hag hand. Sometimes I'll just have, I'll just make the run to, if it gets really bad and it bugs me, like some years are, are worse than others, yeah. but I'll just make the run to the doctor and get the steroid and it knocks it out for the majority of the part. I don't like taking them, but man, sometimes it's just, it gets so irritating. I'm like, I'm had enough. Um, I'm just going to go get a steroid. Yeah, just like Lance Armstrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he won an Olympic or something, right? Oh yeah, Lance. He he, he won so def- many things. Like definitely all- pedaling that bike all yeah. around every foreign place he could get to. I knew he was no good though when he started dating Cheryl Crow. I adore Cheryl Crow, but she, she was too good for him. That's what it was. She, she always dates the worst men. People are like, oh my god, she's <laughs> dating Eric Clapton. I'm like, you know, he's an asshole. <laughs> and all these stories come out and you're like, mm-hmm. and then she dated Kid Rock and that's all I have to say. She dated Kid Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Needed that experience. Yeah, we all have we'll to try everything to, once. <laughs> everyone has to have at least one Kid Rock in their dating history. I have several. They're called the Carls. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Giraffe. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I don't think there's any pages like that. I'll have to get somebody to make that page. I've got a lot of people lately who are drawing and doing original art that they want to come on and color, which I love that. So, And then I missed it earlier. Black Phoenix is like, eventually there will be two. It's accurate. Black Phoenix is going to start making some content and it's going to be, and so there'll be two of us in our little, in this little corner of toy mm. and color tube. We're um, doing sort of little coloring books. And I, th- yeah, you, I- insp- you inspired her. That's awesome. We're, t- we're talking about that backstage. Um, yeah, inspiring. all the people who, um, I mean, you get a lot of that too with what you do, right? People absolutely, like, absolutely. People ask me questions about how to do things, what I'm setting up with, um, even all the way, you know, to what, what I'm lighting things with, and yeah, we get we get a, a good assortment of um, comments and questions. I, I like helping anyone out, um, especially I like I don't mind if if they're even copying what I'm doing. And they, they want some information on how I did it. I, I'll help anyone out. Um, yeah. I think if you're going to be creative and, um, you know, put your hands to work and, uh, you know, get in there and do the dirty work, I'm willing to help help anyone out for that. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Um, well, and I guess sort of I should do the official question. I mean, like, I'm curious about this, so it's going to come out as though I'm asking interview questions, but... Oh, no, no. Interview away. <laughs> when, like, sort of the um, diorama stuff is always, to me, fascinating, because I sort of tinker. Um, when did you actually start, like, getting serious about that? 
like where it wasn't just like boxes um for your figures um i would say in my 20s is when i i i I don't have any unfortunately i don't have any pictures of it or anything because it ended up getting thrashed but um i was into uh pink floyd like pretty heavy all the way from 18 to i still love pink floyd and um i did some diorama work on some pink floyd stuff and it was accurate to the movie um, if you haven't seen pink floyd the wall highly suggest it <laughs> it's a very creative movie tied into a great album so um that really inspired me i i ended up doing a lot of the building and scenery stuff with that and um it looked pretty great and i had a blast with it oh man do i wish do i wish wish i i obtained pictures of it but i didn't and um those things you know in your 20s when you're working construction and kind of hopping around you know from rent place to rent place <laughs> things get lost <laughs> so but um, that's when I kicked it off, and then I I just now like focused on photographing the stuff, and with I'd say the first one I did was about two years ago, um, my Thundercat dial, and that's when I was like, I'm when I do these things now, you know, I'm gonna do them on large scale, I'm gonna do them themed out. Most of them are themed out. I I've do, I have some multi theme stuff, but uh. Yeah, it's just a a thing that I really, really love to do in my past time. Because if I can sit there and, and make something and uh, other people like it and they enjoy what they see. And then, you know, of course, the ultimate goal is to get them to kind of want to try that themselves. Because everybody has these huge collections of action figures and stuff. And you can't tell me that they don't want to set them on a nice action scene, even if it is taken up. A little bit of space you know and, and have them in a diorama i mean that that's the ultimate of collecting for open box collectors you know open their figs if you're not taking them outside and taking pictures with, with them you definitely need to to get some kind of diorama and i guarantee like you'll en you'll just enjoy your figures more because they have a place and, and a purpose and you can set up different scenes and it's, it's totally fun it's a uh, one of the aspects of toy collecting that I really enjoy. So much rocks and water. <laughs> <clears throat> um you aren't on mute are you allison uh i am muted oh i'm sorry no it's I, fine i didn't hear like, you for a while and i was like i better check i was quiet though i was just listening oh. <laughs> to the talk, so, um, i had to sharpen my pencil so i mute because it sounds like an electric drill um, oh. I was just saying the brown and the blue. One of the reasons I like this is once we do the sort of the moire, which is like that nice maroon sort of reddish color and mm -hmm. the green and all of the colors from them, it's going to pop a lot more. We just have to get the sort of the brown and the blue down. So, yeah. And then, yeah. So that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Anything important. It was just like, it was, it was I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> said that and I was like, what? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I muted because I didn't want to interrupt your story oh. about starting by the electric drill. So um, <laughs> anyway, and then when you mentioned, said, I was saying the thing how you had said in your 20s, like you didn't have pictures, like, like you're Gen X too, based on sort of your age. Mm -hmm. uh, like we didn't take pictures of everything back then. Like the no. I remember when I first started seeing on Facebook people taking pictures of their food, being really confused by the whole concept of like yes. why. And now, of course, like 
I'm taking oh, pictures God. of every meal now. <laughs> I'm like, this looks amazing. Oh, my God. Before I eat this, I need to take a picture and let right. everyone know how amazing the salad I made looks. Yeah. We like, we like, sometimes we'll go on date night and we'll, <laughs> so it's just me and the wife. And yeah, I like sending the pictures to the kids sometimes and the, they're at home, like eating some macaroni and cheese and stuff. And they're like, oh man, that's such a jerk. Yeah, not, but not no, they go out to. <clears throat> We went out for Valentine's Day, and it's like as they brought each, it was like, let's get a picture of the bread bowl. And <laughs> I am really grateful, though, I took that picture of the red velvet cake because it was really good. It's yes. the first time I've had real, actual, delicious, an actual red velvet cake since I've lived in the Pacific Northwest because too many, and everyone, this is a public service announcement. <laughs> um, red velvet cake is not chocolate cake. Mm -mm. Stop giving putting red food coloring in your chocolate cake and calling it red velvet. Red yeah. velvet is cake with a hint of chocolate that's red. And it's red because originally it was based on the interaction of the buttermilk and the vinegar and all of the ingredients that turned it red. It wasn't people like, let's eat red cake. It was, this is what happens because we have limited uh, resources for preserving food back in the day so anyway that's your food exactly. last yeah. anyway i had a really good piece of red velvet cake on valentine's day and i stuck it on instagram because that's what you do and right i have gone and looked at that piece of cake like seven or eight times since valentine's day <laughs> just so to, like, <laughs> to, oh my god it was so good the frosting was perfect <laughs> Matt, yeah. like, Matt doesn't eat sweets. You know, it was a piece meant for two, you know. Yeah. It was it was $12 for that slice of cake. And I'm going to say I normally am sort of a cheap person. It's like $12 for a cake. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> I know. I was like, no, this was definitely worth 12 bucks. I was like, if they had charged 24 for this, I would have complained. But I would have, you know, like, well, it was worth 24 um, <laughs> But I have. I've come back and looked at that, like seven uh, eight times because it was it was that good i also don't eat a lot of sweets anymore so there was that yeah i try i try not to and um i ain't gonna lie i've been on a diet but i also um i've been a, cheating like these uh these past couple days a little bit and it's only because like somebody put chocolate eclairs a whole freaking box of oh my God. on the counter like i'm like okay i, yeah. I exist in this house too you know i'm gonna eclair okay. it up <laughs> just got to eat the eclair. I, I've gained a significant amount of weight during the pandemic um, due to health stuff, but also due to just like not leaving the house, being bored. And there's a point during the pandemic where most of us were like, oh, this is it. We're done. And I'm like, I'm going to eat all of the cake. I'm going to have everything <laughs> I want. Right. I'm gonna put seven cheeses in this mac and cheese, and I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> we were doing crazy stuff like that too. Yeah, but plus, we were day drinking. I never, I never do that. I hardly drink oh at all. God, right? I don't I, drink. But we were day drinking. I didn't care. And then we go out. We'd go out in the afternoon and go buy guns and ammo and stuff. <laughs> but well, you know, it's the South. There are standards, guys. Yes, it's what everyone yeah. else is doing. I still you have, have all that damn ammo I got to shoot through. Yeah, up here in, <laughs> up here in the Pacific Northwest, instead of going out and buying guns in the afternoon, it was <clears throat> going to buy yeast to do bread starter and. Nice. Yeah, we we were we were buying, you know, trying to get what food we could. Toilet paper was impossible to find, so. I I I'm, ran out of toilet paper one time in my thirties, <laughs> and it was so horrible that like, you know, like I get the vat mail ordered once every quarter yeah. and we had gotten our quarter of toilet paper three weeks before everything locked down mm. and it was just it was a subscription so it just showed up every couple of months whether we needed it or not so we literally i there are a couple times during the pandemic not gonna lie i went and looked at all that toilet paper i'm like we could just shower after we use the bathroom right <laughs> but i could probably sell this for money <laughs> And Matt was just kind of not having it. So I did not get to be the entrepreneur I wanted during the pandemic. But I did at one point drink a bottle of champagne every day. Nice. Because, you know, cake, you know, sheet cake, champagne, like, let's live this life. Yeah, we didn't I, know what was going to happen. <laughs> buying old coloring books and action figures on, um, on eBay. Watching YouTube toy channels and... <laughs> here we are all these years later 
Who knew? It was the friends we made along the way. Yeah. But let's see. I've been ignoring chat. I need to not do that. Let's see. Uh -oh. And also, oh, hello, Stanley's Toy Channel, who has joined us. Um, Stanley has a great toy channel. He's been doing reviews. Um, exactly. Well, Stanley Seven, what's up? Yeah. He's in here somewhere. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got, yeah, there he is. What's up, y'all? I heard South. Well, you know, like, I'm on here, and it's early in my day, and Aaron's got an accent, so my accent is out, so I'm just... <laughs> Sorry. Just, it's addicting. Yeah, it's, all, it's all right. Like, I spend so much time up here with these Yankees that sometimes I just have to... And we talked about red velvet cake and how horrible it is trying mm. to find real red velvet cake up here. Oh, you know what else is a good cake? Is um Black Forest... You ever had a black horse? Oh, yeah. You like I cherries? Guess. Yep. Oh, man. My mom can make a mean black forest cake. It's, My it's... mom could not, but she there was the Kroger Bakery by our house had the best black oh, wow. I say by our house. We lived in the part of Louisiana where by your house is like 45 minutes to an hour into town. Right. And you got to stop and let the alligator pass before you get in, you know, so your car don't flip because they will flip your cars if you hit those two going too fast. But oh, yeah. really good. Like, like the ones that they, and I had them at a different Kroger and it was not as good. So it was clearly Lurleen who worked at that bakery that put the. Yeah. Well, and that was also before, like, there was a central bakery that went to all the places. They actually baked it in the store. Oh, wow. So, yeah, because I'm not old people. <laughs> but, yeah, Red Velvet, Black Forest. Hush Puppies are another thing I can't find up here that they don't, they don't, wait, I almost dropped an F-bomb. It's too early. Oh, no. Drop away. <laughs> I went to a restaurant that had amazing chicken and waffles one time, and I'm like, well, mm -hmm. their Hush Puppies have to be good. I have not processed the emotional trauma from those hush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just, it was not, it's like, what are you doing? It was like they took cake batter, like the um, pancake batter, and they eat hush puppies with that. I was just like, I don't understand. Oh, wow. I don't understand. There was too much corn in it. Like, I don't know. It, it felt like somebody was like, let's make this fancy. And it's like, hush puppies are not meant to be fancy, people. This is a thing that if you are a chef at a five-star restaurant and you're watching my stream right now, it could happen. Um, <laughs> this is, there is another Eric Thurman in the room? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay could be watching this right now. I'm not trying to serve y'all raw chicken. It's raw. Um, hush puppies are... You don't need to level them up. They're supposed to be like cheap, quick, easy to make, deep fried goodness. Like sometimes it's okay to just let a meal, a, like a food item, be like low rent. Like you don't need to upscale everything. Right. And the next thing you know, you're going to be like buying old coloring books, scanning them, cleaning them out, printing them out on fancy paper using expensive coloring pencils and coloring them on the internet. So I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, Things may get chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> it could get a little tricky. So, oh, let's see. Brick is here. Giraffe thinks German chocolate cake and black forest cake are what he imagines heaven would serve all day. Yes. And while we're talking about cakes, there is one more cake that okay, I let's adore. More, let's talk cake. Yep. No, no. Carrot cake. I oh, love carrot cake. I, I don't know that. why. It has to have the cream cheese, you know, frosting and stuff, but yep. I love it. I hate, and here's what, here's my hot take. When people <laughs> try to sneak raisins into the carrot cake. Oh, no, no, I no. Want yeah. to, I want to have a visceral moment of like throttling them with both of my hands because raisins don't go in most things, but definitely not in carrot cake. No, no. I've never had that actually, but. Yeah, if someone tries a little swindle, a little raisin in there, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be having that. Yeah, no, it's not good. It doesn't help the flavor, people. <laughs> it's like you keep those in oatmeal raisin cookies because nobody eats those on purpose. Yes. 
Anyway, that's my hot take. Spice <laughs> cake is also good down south. south right now. Yes, spice cake. Yes, Jamie Oliver went to the south. He went to many states and criticized American cuisine and said it's why we're fat, but did nothing to address the reality of food deserts and inequality and the fact that most people who eat too much fast food, it's because they that is an option that they have. Um, and I'm going to say when I had sort of terrible jobs that didn't pay me enough and I was having to commute, there were some days that the McDonald's dollar menu probably got more money from me than it should have, but it was less money than it would have cost to go eat somewhere nicer, and they had me my food in enough time to get back to my crap job and my desk on time without being late, and have enough nourishment to make it through the rest of the day, Jamie Oliver. Anyway, so yes. um, I'm all for upscaling food, but I hate the way that... Too often nutrition is spoken of by people who are privileged and have never actually been poor and don't understand that sometimes the box of macaroni and cheese is because it's 43 cents and you can feed most of your family, you know, for two or three bucks with that mac and cheese. So absolutely. And I'm sure you guys at home, if when you take your family out now to eat, I mean, holy smokes. I mean, you might as well get ready to blow $250, $300 sometimes. I have four kids that we take out to eat. I really have five, but one's, one's grown. Yeah, he's, he's, he's working, and oh, my goodness, things are so expensive. So you have to cut them corners and, um, you know, prep meals and make meals and, and just, just try to buy in bulk because – Especially nowadays, that's that's one of the reasons why I hunt is because all my family, all my kids enjoy the meat that we get to harvest every year. I didn't hunt too much this year. I'm sure everyone knows that. I was I was busy uh, kicking off my YouTube channel. <laughs> no, you know, priorities. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know that's the main reason. And, and um, you'll see in the summertime, you guys will see me out on my boat, and I'll be fishing, and that's what I do. I come yeah. home and I clean the fish, and, and the family enjoys it, and we get to save money, and I have fun doing it. And it's nutritious. Fish is good yes. for you. Yes, I love fish. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and that's the problem. Like, all too often, the nutrition, you know, like, in, I gained all that weight. I lost a lot of weight. Part of it was going to the nutritionist. Um, but I found one who was, she was just like, She's like, some days you're going to eat food that's not great. She's like, just eat the macaroni and cheese. And she's like, it's based on things like budget and what it costs. And it helped a lot because, you know, <clears throat> like you often hear those things where it's like, oh, you have to do it exactly this way. And you yeah. know, vegetables are so cheap, but vegetables go bad so fast. Like, Sure, frozen vegetables aren't maybe as nutritious as fresh, but you can keep the frozen vegetables in your refrigerator for days and hours and years and decades if needed. Oh, yeah. Whereas, you know, that tomato is going to go bad. I mean, we've all had the avo avocado experience, I'm sure. Isn't avocado uh, so good, though? I mean... It's so good, but it's like, it's all that timing. It's like, it's like... yeah. It's like dating like the most unobtainable person in your life. And they're like, well, I'll give you a shot, but you have to show up on Wednesday at 7.15. <laughs> when the uh, stars align and, you know, like. My yeah. wife got me hooked on avocado and she has some tricks for keeping it. I just can't think of them right now. Okay, like, where she was in the chat. You're definitely going to end up getting some some interesting messages after this where people are like, please, reveal to us your avocados. Show me your avocado. <laughs> See the avocado. Mm. But, yeah, avocado is just... Yeah, it's it's top shelf. Like, Good stuff. When people are like, those kids in their avocado toast trying to make fun of people who eat avocado toast, I'm like, if you are poor and you can afford an avocado and like it's ripe for you, you live your life, kid. Live your life. Absolutely. I eat avocado toast all the time. My wife will make it. It's real tasty. Of course, we put all kinds of garlic and spices on it and just juice it up. But um, 
man, I, I didn't like avocado until she, she started liking it. And, um, you know, the older you get, you know, you, you, you're wanting different things anyways. And you're like, yeah, I'll try this, you know, I'll try that, you know, and, and, uh, man, was it tasty and addicting. And I also heard that avocado is good to like fill you up. So yeah, well, that's it good. Makes... it's a good fat. Like, yeah. So if you work out and do a lot of exercise, avocado is your friend. Yeah. I finally finished all of the brown rocks. I'm gonna quickly. <laughs> There's so many rocks up there. I kind of split it. I was like, I'm going to put some grass here because I seen a couple strokes that could be blades. Yeah. I don't know if they're rocks or not, but in this world, there's gonna be some grass on my knoll well, there. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, the rocks are done on mine. Dress it up however you want. If you want to put some rocks in there, do it. I almost was tempted to do, like, purple and, and make it look like crystal, but then I didn't. I was like, no, I'm just going to make it awesome. Rocks. It would have been pretty awesome. I um I recently did a Crystar page. Oh, really? Um, it, it got good views. Um, so, congratulations, Crystar. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but it took me a while to sort of figure out my uh, quote unquote Chris Star, like the formula to get him to look like Crystal with various blue pencils. And I was pretty happy with that, actually. It came out pretty good. So nice. Uh, he's one of my faves. I love Chris Star. Yeah. I never had Chris Star as a kid because um, there were so many toys. And he came out like when Strawberry Shortcake and he-Man and Star Wars and Glamour Gals. It was a it was a busy time for me. Right, uh, right. And I think he was only at he was Rimco, so I think he was only at Kmart. Oh, okay. Wrong, but I feel like a lot of those Rimco toys, like the Conan and uh, Warlord, I think a lot of those were only at Kmart for some reason. Again, oh. I'm completely wrong, but I only remember seeing him at Kmart as a kid, and that included Chris Star. Right. Um, I always wanted them, but just because he was cool. And they were like in scale, sort of, almost with Star Wars. So, uh. but yeah, never had one. And then I looked at them during the pandemic when we were all locked in eating cake and drinking champagne, at least over here. Um, I looked at those online thinking, oh, nobody's going to remember that toy line. It's going to be cheap. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it is not cheap to buy Crystar vintage toys. No, especially, oh my goodness, if you're looking at package stuff, you, you might as well get ready to drop a pretty penny. With the caveat, if it's the old wizard and he's naked, then you can get him pretty cheap. But when can't yeah. you get an old naked wizard pretty cheap? I'm just saying. Yeah, right. They're 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 on eBay all the time. They're on and my messages <laughs> all the time, too. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm an elderly yeah. wizard and I'm naked. Here's some pictures, Allison. It's like, I did not need to see that, sir. <laughs> I didn't need my eyes burned tonight. <laughs> That's not the kind of magic you were intending, I bet. <laughs> I don't see, and that's my memory is that they are, and some of that might be because in all of those comic book ads that advertised all of the Remco pictures <clears throat> that always said at Kmart in them. Right. Um, I I believe I came across mine in a. It was either a drugstore or a, a place called Philly Sales. I want to say it's a drugstore. Yeah. But um, I remember it was it was definitely after the line's been out for a while, so they must have been like some back stock figures or whatever that they were trying to get you know rid of, and because yeah. I I remember everything like being there, so. And then um, that's when I found my first uh, Chris Star, and he was amazing because of the the colors and and just the the you know that crystal. He was the first like crystal clear figure I've ever seen. I was like yeah. just blown away by him, and I was like, this guy's a leader, you know. Um, and I never did. I'm I'm gonna snatch up the the uh, comics. I never did read the comics on it, but I mean, man. It, I don't know the whole storyline of it, but I'm sure it would have eventually made a, a great cartoon, you know, something. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got um, 
I think there are four coloring books and I have mm -hmm. them all in digital form and three of them have complete stories in them. So, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so, so you, you know some story base of it. Though. I don't know them yet. I've, I, I, when I, <clears throat> there was something I bought digital that somebody else scanned, cleaned up because it takes forever to do that. <clears throat> and I'm not a patient. I don't know if people realize this. I'm not particularly patient. I know if you look at the internet and you look at my content, which is me reducing coloring to 30 seconds or less, you would think she must be very patient. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um yeah but i, I had us fooled <laughs> yeah, there are a couple of stores where um well, <clears throat> of people who sell the scan and clean it up and sell the books and i got all of the chris star that through that and i flipped through to pick out a couple pictures and i printed them um and colored ones stuck it up it got good views i'm like well i'll revisit chris star at some point because hmm. uh, a lot of what i do with the shorts is just sort of coloring stuff that interests me, throwing it at the wall to see what sticks. Right. Um, but they do, you know, so I don't know if all three of all, well, there are four books. One of them is an activity book, which has, but it also seems to have a story in it. So I need to dig down into those because again, a big part of what interests me obviously is sort of the lore and the storytelling in these old books. Yes. Like I'm the, you know, I freak even to this day. I will sometimes lose. You know, I'll look up. It's like, how is it four a.m. and I should be going? I should have been in bed seventeen hours ago because I have to get up in three, because I end up on Wikipedia looking at all the this old information on old comic books, old stories. You know, like <laughs> that was me last night. I, I was up super late. It's just, I don't know, the rabbit holes I end up down some nights when it's like I'm interested in something. And now I make videos on YouTube, so. Because <laughs> that's what you do. Do what you love. Let's see. Check the comments. Express yourself. Hello, Carol. Lovely to see you this morning. Exactly. Girl, That's why we didn't get Cat Clark. He was canceled because he was a dirty old man slipping into messages. <laughs> yeah, there's a. I think that's Chris Star's, his brother. Maybe I need to. I I need to. I need to schedule some production time where I just sort of go through all of the books and sort of look at stuff like that because. Yes, it's. Times, it can get crazy the amount of research you have to put into something sometimes um and not not because you like you don't know it but you just want to be accurate like in what you're giving and well, yeah it's like um especially with the coloring like there are times where i'll just make a creative choice and like like i did brave a brave star page for um my friend derek hoover um who was mm. yesterday's podcast Hello, okay. Derek. Derek will, if he's not in chat now or hanging out now, he'll watch this in replay. Hello, Derek. Um, but he really loved Brave Star, and that was one of the episodes they did for yesterday. So I did a Brave Star page. Um, and I had to spend a lot of time because I watched a little Brave Star, but I didn't have, I was older by the time it came out. It was hit like right when I was transitioning out of toys. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I remembered it, but I didn't sort of remember the coloring. And it had Brave Star and JB. I think that's her name. Like the female character, the only who didn't get a figure. Thanks a lot, Mattel. Um, <laughs> but she looked one. She had a couple different costumes and filmation, I guess, as the animation evolved. Okay. But she never got a figure, so it was like trying to figure out how to color her for that page. Like, do I go toy accurate to the prototype? Do I go season one? Do I go? And then mm. I was just like, I don't know. I'm like, so I just did a little bit of everything. And I'm like, if anyone gets salty about it, hopefully that will help engagement. So <laughs> nobody got salty about it. People were just like, oh my God, Brave Star. I remember Brave Star. So that's awesome. Classic overthinking, but it'll happen probably with the G.I. Joe thing that I do because I've noticed Joe fans get salty about stuff like that. Oh yeah, yep. 
anytime you slip up on something and um, somebody is always willing to fire, hey, that's not right. <laughs> it's funny. I, um, on, again, take, I, it's, people have been lovely to me on YouTube for the most part, um, which is not what you people lead you to expect. <laughs> It's always on TikTok. I did a, um, cause you know, like I do Gem and I do Barbie and the Rockers. Right. Um, because that is sort of the phase of Barbie that interests me the most. Um, because I liked Gem as a kid. Never had Gem. They were a little too spendy. Um, my, my sisters love Gem. Um, they would play that cartoon over and over and, I, I sat down and watched it and watched it and it just grew on me and I'd sit there and remember watching it with them. Well, I think Jim was the cartoon. I think, you know, and you hear a lot of guys, you know, sort of in our age bracket who really liked Jim and sort of, you know, because of how, how the toy aisle really works back then where it's like, don't you dare go buy that doll young man. Um, <laughs> yeah. sort of are really, we're, you know, sort of had to secretly love Jim, but yeah. Rewatching, I you know I've been rewatching it as I do all these pages so that I can um, make decisions because the toys looked one way, the um, character designs were a little different, the cartoon was different. So I've I've sort of mashed the three up for when I do gem pages. No, um, but it's just funny, like all the dudes who like really dig gem and just she was like a superhero, really. If you want, you know, like. And some truly of the, outrageous. Yeah, some of these cartoons really hold up. Gem, for whatever reason, really holds up. I think some, a lot of the Sumbo stuff holds up. I think. Um, I think they wrote, but they also got like actual comic book writers. Christy Marks, who helped create Gem, was okay. an amazing comic book artist. Um, see if you can find. Next time you go to the, you know, like if you're looking for a new comic that's old you've never read, look for Sisterhood of Steel in the back. The quarter bin, <clears throat> sort of like a more mature Wonder Woman take that she wrote. It was really good. I should not have probably been reading it at eight. Sisterhead uh, of Steel, it's called. Sister, yeah, Sisterhead of Steel. So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, she is pretty. I have, a, I have a dream list of people I would like to have on here to color with me at some point when I reach certain comfort comfort level and samantha newark is definitely one of the people i want to know oh nice have a big old like coloring jamboree yeah I, there are a couple of people i want to ask oh i already did that one beverly hills teen see i barely remember that one but they seem pretty cool um but yeah so but anyway i posted a uh, you know on tiktok i do a little bit more of you know, I'll put titles on the page that are embedded in the video a little bit more. I, I do that on YouTube, but not as much, you know, because YouTube gives all the ways where you can like link to other videos and like your description sort of shows in the title. TikTok is not as, um, doesn't give you as much options to sort of reference other stuff. So I, so I put, anyway, I had the title and it was a Barbie and the Rockers page. And the girl slid in and was like, I think you mean gem and the holograms. And uh, <laughs> one of my all time favorite movies is Clueless. And I had that moment where I, like, if you remember Clueless, there's the part where she's in the car with her former stepbrother who becomes her boyfriend at the end of the movie. Right. <laughs> oh, anyway, him and his girlfriend and his girlfriend's um like this, big diatribe about their professor and she's like it's just like hamlet said to thine own self be true and alicia silverson goes like actually it was thelonious who said that and the girl was like i think i remember hamlet and alicia silverson's like well i remember mel gibson and he didn't say that <laughs> and literally when that woman that phone full grown-ass woman who's probably still younger than i am so then, mm. like, I'm pretty sure this is Jim and the holograms, don't you think? And I was like, well, actually, it's Barbie. And I, it was really hard not to go. Well, I just wanted to comment really, like, well, I remember Mel Gibson. And um, it was like, ma'am, like, 
<laughs> I don't know. This is sort of this is one of the things I find hard about the internet is that there are people who will rush in to comment who right. think they know but don't know. Right. And it's really hard not to be rude sometimes about that. But I work. <laughs> so fetch, exactly. Stop trying to make fetch happen, giraffe. <laughs> Oh my god, that was a good. Sh that was also a good movie. Mean Girls. Lindsay Lohan before she careened out of control. Right. Oh, Lindsay Lohan. But yeah, I don't know. That's this or this, you know. But I just, I don't. I just like for that lady. I just sort of slid in. I'm like, well, actually, this is what happened. I can understand why you would confuse the two because Mattel basically was trying to torpedo gem and the holograms and they kind of did so congratulations <laughs> to all but i don't know it's funny that and again i don't get a lot of it and i, I do get those over on tiktok which is just kind of odd to me but if i get a, a rude comment i i i uh I just, you know, I'm like, oh, well, thank you, you know, thank you yeah. for the suggestion. And by the way, did you know we're having a free giveaway? You know, <laughs> right. you just gotta look through all my my um, look through all my videos and find the free giveaway we're giving. <laughs> yeah, I I've, I've sort of when it's somebody who's made something that's sort of rude, but it could be that they meant well. I tend to just be like, thank you so much, and I do the <laughs> the, the prayer hands and the purple heart like yeah, like i do when i actually <laughs> like the comment and i'm grateful so mm. i think it's the only way to really survive online really i mean like i don't i don't know it's weird like there are people i've like if you ever watch mad hatter oh yeah um when people sort of come at him and any sort of sideways from whatever like he blasts them in a way where it's like very pleasurable yeah um and it what so for him i'm like yeah definitely you know like yeah do that but that just wouldn't <laughs> work for me because i'm too spiteful and like if i let myself just a little bit go down that path it's just not good so <laughs> it's not the person i want to be in my life i want to be more grace grace gracious yes i can't even and that's my middle name is literally grace so um <laughs> oh okay so um yeah <clears throat> it was a it was a one of those things where it's like a dream is a wish your heart makes when grace was picked as the middle name i think because grace has never been something i'm good at so <laughs> people who've seen me dance will ascertain that this is accurate so. <laughs> but yeah so so and many I, weapons on this thing i know right all the guns all the Look at all these guns. I know. Well, it is a it is Cobra, the enemy, so you would expect. Exactly. I bet Joe's in there and like, hey, this is pretty nice. This is this is different. This Mars technology. <laughs> yeah. I like I like what we're rolling with here. <laughs> yeah. That's what always confused me about like and the Cobra the G uh not G.I. Joe. The uh Destro Cobra Commander, like at any point you just stop selling him weapons, Destro. Like right. Like what is he gonna do? Take you to court for violating your contract with him? Like, come on, guys. <laughs> come, on. come on, just oh, did we find out who's on the front of the boat there? Who's on the bitter um, end? Graf said it was barbecue and then he popped back in and said it was not. So we mm. don't have um, barbecue. Man, that or is that could be torch or not torch? Um, well, he's got some sort of tubes on his back. Hmm. He's got like a visor thing and then this long gun that looks like a Star Wars gun, sort of. Where's Punk when we need him? We need his expertise on this. He's probably, um, I don't know what he's, I mean, it's Sunday. Who, <laughs> who knows where? Lawrence is today. He had a long night. Um, yeah, they were on late. I fell oh, asleep yeah. here at this table coloring last night. Woke up at like 3 a.m. my time, and it, I swear that it said on the screen, like, stream ended three minutes ago or something. Wow. And I don't know how I slept through all those people talking, especially Lauren. I mean, you know, 
We all adore Lawrence, but he gets pretty loud sometimes. So. <laughs> I must have been really tired. Yeah, I had some diorama stuff to finish, so we just busted out a yeah, pop on live had, there. And I had you on the screen over here, and then Lawrence was right here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll try to, uh, yeah, that's the beauty of having multiple screens, is you can pull people up. and. I do it all the time, yeah. Even if I'm not necessarily watching, but I'm like working on something or whatever, I'll have people going in the background. It's normally what I'm doing. I'm, I'm working on something, and I've, I've been trying to explain that to people. If I miss them in the chat, I'm super sorry, but yeah. it's normally because I'm working on something. Yeah, there are times where I'll pop in and I'll be like, hi, greetings, you know, drop a drop a opening like, yep, I'm here, people. You can continue on. Your life is complete. I have arrived. And then I <laughs> get back to whatever I'm working on and I'll check back in and like 30 people said hello and I'm like, they probably think I'm really rude. Yeah, yeah, that's that's I really wanted to get back to coloring this Barbie picture that I'm working on or Tila or Shira or whatever. Right. And I have different workstations through. I work in my garage a lot here lately because yeah. my room is just filled with toys. But, um, man, it's my only, you know, I have to be all the way across the room sometimes. So. Also, yeah, like I'll get up and, you know, like if it's in the evening when I'm making dinner, like people will be playing in the background and. It's not you guys, it's me. I'm just <laughs> it's not too busy. busy. <laughs> I tried one of the Carls I broke up with and um you know, he's like, But why? And I literally was like, It's not you, it's me. <laughs> and then I paused and I'm like, actually no. And I was It is I you. Had, <laughs> yeah, I, I had, had too much to drink that night. It was definitely you. Oh, I'm glad you let him have it. <laughs> garbage, you and your mother. <laughs> he got mad. And I always get mad when you bring your mother into it, but my philosophy is this. When a man is terrible, it's usually because his mother allows it. Like, right. You know, like your mother has probably coddled you and allowed you to get away with some bullshit and told you that you're exceptional in a way where you can get away with bullshit. No. <laughs> and then she left it for me to straighten out. <laughs> yeah, right. And then expects me to clean up her mess. It's like, man, I can't even load my own dishwasher half the time, much less fix your parenting mistakes. Um it's just it's not gonna happen. Like it's <laughs> funny. You can't, it's like when you buy a car, you, if you sell somebody a car and it has a problem, it's a lemon. You don't get mad when they're like, I don't want to buy this old car that's, you know, like needs a new engine. Like, come right. get your son right. and fix it. And then it's not my problem, ma'am. Um, <laughs> he didn't come with the warranty. <laughs> Yeah, I'd see, I do that a lot. Like, I have a video that I am trying to get finished up for Wednesday. Um, and I took, when I say I took yesterday off, I decided to color shorts because they're fun. I don't, I don't enjoy the editing part of making videos at all. And when people are like, well, do you think, like, because people ask you, well, you think you're going to be really big on YouTube? And I always say, I hope so, so I can one day afford an editor. So I can just like send like the raw vocals and <laughs> all the pictures and all the video and be like, make this work. Yes. And here's the script and there you are. Earn your money, sir. Yes, um, that would be truly awesome. That's the only reason I ever think it would be really nice to hit big on YouTube is so I could afford an editor to like yes. do it. I don't enjoy. Some people it. don't realize what fifteen minute video, how much editing editing can slip yeah, into that. And yeah, and it's just, you know, and it's, man, especially when you're doing sort of your own footage and it's like it's an afternoon and it's like you've worked all day or you know, I'm just speaking from experience here, and you maybe didn't get the coverage you needed, and it's like mm -hmm. you don't have to set it all back up, and you're just like, Ugh, I'm just not going to do a video. Yeah, <laughs> it, it color can be. for two hours, and then I, I'll color for a few hours, and then it's like at the end of it, I'm like, okay, I guess I can do that footage again. So I took forever to get that video, um, the Delta 17 video up because the original footage I did with the figure 
wasn't quite there wasn't enough coverage for it mm-hmm. and i was just like lazy about getting everything set back up <clears throat> but the nice thing about the new studio setup that i'm working on my new table is the way this is all set up once i finish getting everything set up i'll actually have just an area where I, action figures can live so long as the kitten doesn't steal them i keep <laughs> shit, like he went running. I bought Matt's. Well, Matt gave me money to buy him socks a week or two ago. And I looked up the other day, and the kitten runs by and he has the entire unopened package of socks in his mouth, like <laughs> heading no. away to his hidey hole. I'm just like, what are you doing? Hi. Hello. We were just speaking about you. Speaking of, say hello Aww. to the internet. Hi, kitty. That's yeah. socks. Wow, look at that beautiful pattern. Yeah, he's a pretty boy. Oh my goodness, I've he's never a seen very a cat like that. Sassy boy, and he's mad because I just woke him up. But. Uh, I have two white cats. They're fluffy and white. I'm not Aww. exactly sure, but Chloe and Zoe. So, and they're sisters. Yeah, we have we have currently three. We've got him who we got over the summer. Our middle cat is um, he was part of the bonded pair and we lost his sister oh it was it was traumatic yeah. um, and he because they were bonded and they were a couple years old he, he still wakes up some days and goes looks for her and cries um so anytime anyone tries to tell you cats are not emotional you know like or whatever oh, they, they are mine greet me at the door they they wait outside my garage door that there's a yeah. little table right there and they they love laying on all the mail, of course. But um, yeah. they will wait. She will, especially um, Zoe. She will wait there until I come out. It doesn't matter what time. And meow, you know, ready, ready to be pet. <laughs> yeah. well, this little guy, he's back under the table now. Um, he will, if it's say two a.m. and I'm still up, he'll come and start sassing at me until I go lay down. <laughs> Like just, and he also does this thing now where he pretends like he's hurt. Oh. And then when the other cats go check on him, he attacks their butts. <laughs> so it's like not quite playing possum, but sort of like, oh my God, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Help. And then they go <laughs> and attack on him and he gets them. Oh, and because smart. our middle cat is so traumatized from losing his sister, he goes and checks on him every time. And every time Oli gets his butt. Oh. So, it's, <laughs> but it's also very manipulative and i'm like well that's definitely my cat so yeah um, not that i am manipulative anymore but my 20s were fun <laughs> All right. i'm gonna quickly make your page um Exactly, exactly, down south seven. All right, there you are. I'm gonna make your page really quick, front and center, so people can see okay. where you're at. So where I'm going with it. Nice, I like the gra- yeah. actually like the grass, it looks really good. Thank you, thank you. I'm just Ooh. kind of caught that little, I caught these little strokes and they look like blades of grass. I was like, yeah. I'm just gonna roll out a little grass knoll right well, there. That's and sort of what I like about colored I'm pencils. Is I'm you a shader guy, so. create. Yep, your water looks good, but I, I just, I don't know. I just like how with pencils, you can sort of create a texture with your strokes. Yes, yes, yes. you can always add, if you go light, you can always add to it. And yeah. uh, that's what I love about colored pencils. And your water, your water, the shading of that looks really good, too. Thank you, thank right. you. It's really good. Just uh, just imagine if you do this more often, like how right. That's do? that's what I was getting at. I, I I just wanted to cold start this one, and I know that I'm gonna do a bunch more now. Yeah. And um, well, I'm gonna we'll probably just... invite you back because oh, well, this, well, thank you. this page is from a story. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, and one of my goals for what well, obviously I've talked I talk about endlessly on my stream because I'm doing them on streams. I'm going to complete a Masters of the Universe coloring book in 2024. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm sort of wrapping up what I'm referring to as shorts season one, because I've been doing a daily short since July. Mm -hmm. And some days, like during the holidays, I was doing two or three a day. 
Um, but I'm going to sort of bring this to an end soonish. Take a few weeks away from short. Re-upload some of the ones YouTube screwed me on. We're right. Going to this video <laughs> to seven people, um, and it has like 23 views because I was like, "People, go watch my short." <laughs> um, and people went and watched my short, and they liked my short. So I have great watch time on these shorts based on how many people YouTube showed it to. Yeah. Not, you know. But anyway, I'm going to re-upload some of those. I always felt weird asking people to watch my shorts. And when I first started, and I'm like, I hope they understand what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah, right. So I'm always like, short videos. <laughs> yeah, I don't call them shorts when I'm sitting. Well, I will like if it's another YouTube person because they know. But when it's just somebody else, I'm like, go watch my YouTube video, people. I'm on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, like I have... And again, we're both sort of from this. So you'll get this just as much as, um, yeah. And you know, not, I, I love my people from back home. I've got some good friends, but they're not all the brightest people. Um, so, yeah, and I don't mean that in a rude way. They're just simple. Oh, no, people. I have some they're, of those here too. They're of the earth. They're very salt of the earth sort of people. They're simple folk. Mm -hmm. um, people of the South, they like, they will make you some mean fried chicken and it's going to be the best fried chicken you've ever had. But don't ask them a complicated question because it's, you know, <laughs> so you, they just, they know I'm on YouTube and they're like, oh my God, you must be famous. And it's like, yes, go watch my video, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not how it works, but you know, just go watch the video. If it helps that you think I'm famous. Yes. please <laughs> Go watch the video. Like I need, I need to have more than 20 likes. Don't forget to like. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget Don't to like. Like, subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you'd like to see more videos like this. My, my oldest daughter was going out to lunch yesterday with um, her mom. And uh, I was dropping her off. And I, I said, now, when you're all gathered around this restaurant with all the other ma family members, you know, don't forget to talk about, you know, your Aaron's, Aaron's uh, YouTube channel, yeah. your dad's YouTube, you know. I was like, tell them to like, subscribe, tell them to pull, pull their phones out right then and there. Right. <laughs> and I get had, the ball rolling. And I did. I Around a certain time, I had like three or four sub subscriptions pouring. I was well, like, also, that's my girl. You'll, you'll, you, this is some advice I have for you. You know how we... You're from the South also, mm -hmm. and you're still there, unlike myself who escaped. So you've got at least five or six boss babes that you went to high school with who are always like, hey, let's go get coffee so, like, you can get it in this great deal I got. Like, you can be <laughs> under me. And, of course, in your case, you're probably like, you never wanted to give me the time of day in high school to be under you. <laughs> but, you know, they just want your money. Right. Um, <laughs> but I have found when they hit me up to join their MLMs, it's really handy to send them the video and be like, oh, my God, watch this and comment. And then um, we'll figure out when we can go to coffee. And then you, after you get the like and the like everything, you ghost them. So it's like the best of everything. You're not joining your, their MLM. You get the watch. You get the like. Yeah. And then but because they have to get so many people under them they will fall for it seven to eight times i'm just saying seven to eight times they will fall for it and you'll get a bunch of likes <laughs> so this is my advice what's going on holy cow he is being sassy over there I I really to yeah like okay that makes sense yeah not picked up with that yeah yeah, he doesn't like being picked up. So. Or yodel. Or yodel. <laughs> My cats are, they lay on their backs and show their belly and they let me rub the belly and anything on them. They're so weird because cats don't normally do that. Okay. So, Giraffe, you've been outvoted by Don South 7. He said it looks like airtight. And what I'm going to say... <clears throat> Um, this other page from earlier in the book that we almost did is shipwreck and airtight. So I bet you are accurate and it's probably airtight. So. Nice. So, okay. So not outvoted, just we have more information now and down south seven seems accurate. Um, down south seven says, I feel weird asking people to watch any of mine. It feels strange. Get over it. Ask them to watch it. Yeah, ask them to watch it, buddy. 
Listen to that all the time. You got great content. What about all the times these people have asked you to help them move or like come to their house to eat their food and they like cook something and it wasn't good and you had to pretend it was good? Right. You choked it down anyways. <laughs> they brought out that carrot cake and there were some raisins in it and you didn't put it out. Uh, you were like, hmm, this is really good. And then you sort mm -hmm. of tuck it in your cheek and then you go to the bathroom, spit it out and flush. Yeah. yeah. Matt just reminded me one time I went to somebody's house and they're like, we're having lasagna. And it was eggplant lasagna. <laughs> no, that's not lasagna. That's a... <laughs> that's some, that was that was some cool trick. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you after, once we're offline, what I refer to it as because I'm probably going to get my stream pulled. But um, <laughs> it was a travesty on a plate. And I ate it mm. as much as I could get down. I was like, mm, this is really good. I will have to finish this later. I'm just so full because I have not eaten all day. <laughs> Silly me. Busy. And this eggplant just hit my belly and went like a balloon and filled it up. And now I am starving, but I can't eat this because it tastes like death. Anyway, <laughs> and I'm sure there are people right now who are like, but I really like eggplant. That's fine. It's okay. <laughs> People like stuff that's terrible. I mean, there are multiple seasons of that show, Blue Bloods. Um, Look how long Fuzzy Pete's been around. Um, actually, <clears throat> oh. Matt was just like, but look how long Toby Keith has been around. And I'm like, Matt, <laughs> not anymore. All right, so I finished all the water and the rocks really quickly. Nice. Do the solo layout so that people can see. So now I'm going to move to the boat and the people. And now that we have confirmed um, that this is airtight. Airtight. Yeah, I can feel comfortable coloring it. Um, hello, Kenzo. Happy Sunday to you. I need to get Kenzo on here, too. Um, Thanos, you need to join me one day as well. I should message people more. Um, anyway, nice to see you, Kenzo. Welcome. Um, it is a little all over the place in the conversation today, but that's fine. It can't always be, um, can't always be structured. And you guys just get to hear me sharpening so that I don't accidentally mute myself for three hours again. <laughs> um, I got so, your back. <laughs> well, at least I know somebody will be able to talk if I suddenly am quiet. Right, right. I'll, I'll fill in the blank. Yeah, right. <laughs> the two of us, we've got nonstop talking covered. I know. I'm, I know. I'm a. I'm a big person. Um, to like, I do a lot of over talking, and I'm. I'm trying to get better at it. It's just so. Some of this is like incredibly new to me, so. <laughs> uh, but there is like a a level of you know watching out for the other person while while you know while we're talking yeah. and stuff. Well, there's also a slight delay. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, the people at home they're about ten seconds behind us, but um, you know, for us there's even a slight delay every so often, so that happens. Yeah. Um, it takes a while. And sometimes, you know, like, well, not you, obviously, but there's just been a time or two where I've been on a show and somebody's been talking and I've over-talked them just because I needed them to stop. Yeah. So, like, it's like, let me oh, in. <laughs> like, no, 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 let's not, yeah, no. It hasn't happened in a while, and it hasn't happened on ToyTube, ironically. Um, but that's why I stick to ToyTube. I find um, I'm going to, if I had real wood, I would knock on it, but I'm just going to knock on this cheap press wood. So far in ToyTube, <laughs> I have found for the most part, everyone over here is pretty cool. Yeah, um, I didn't expect that um, when I started watching, and I didn't expect the uh, the warm welcome that I got. It's been really cool. Yeah. Yeah, same. I was really expecting it to be 
a lot more and i would assume there are probably parts of voidtube where it is like that i mm -hmm. think i just i feel like i was lucky because i sort of slid in thanks to toy habits and, and then i watched a lot of geek dad life and i joined their um <laughs> their patreon and discord and stuff and yeah. then lawrence was actually michael at toy habits was like i did that episode and lawrence showed up in chat michael's like oh yeah like lawrence is a good person you should check his channel out i think it was off screen i don't think he said that on screen about lawrence because probably would have made lawrence's ego too big but um <laughs> you know michael was like he's you know and i think yeah, it was a Sunday, so obviously, but the next day, like, Lawrence had his big Monday three-hour thing, and I popped into that, and I just was like, this dude is, like, for three hours? Okay. Nice. And there are, there are some corners of the G.I. Joe toy fandom that I've heard terrible things about. Um, mm -hmm. So I sort of popped into Punk's stream, um hesitantly expecting i was going to find the worst you know like exactly what you would sort of expect with the, sort of the gatekeeperiness and the terrible people and whatnot <laughs> and i did it and i was like okay this dude is cool yeah um and then he started offering memberships so i'm like okay i'll pay for that yeah so i don't know again knocking on wood even Presswood, and considering myself lucky because I've not encountered it. And again, I'm sure it's out there. I'm sure there are truly terrible people in ToyTube. I just haven't lost in life enough to encounter those people yet. And I hope it stays that way. So. Right. Me too. It's been, it's been a great journey so far. And um, I don't think anybody's nasty opinion would ever um necessarily stop me from what i'm doing because i just don't just not too worried about what other people think and um you either like the content or you know it boils down to you yeah. either like the content or you don't and uh yeah you know there's not not much after that <laughs> well yeah and if you don't like it you don't have to. <laughs> Wait, let me let me get my exact because I, I like I, I recorded the vocals for this video I need to finish and I very much am invoking my old newscaster because I went when I was in college I was going to be in um, mass communications which was journalism. Mm -hmm. But let me see if I can mod if I've evolved enough. If you're not if you didn't enjoy the content, don't smack the like. Just get the fuck out of my channel and go to <laughs> island. <laughs> yeah, so I have to work on that. But I do have the if you enjoy this video, you should smack the like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you should you should subscribe and hit the bell notification. <laughs> Let's get it all down so that it just rolls off the tongue. So pro. Yeah, right. And that's how you know you can remind people to smack the like and subscribe and <laughs> Pay attention. I have not worked in the and there are links at the end of this video for other videos you should watch. And, uh, my game on that. But. Yeah, I gotta I gotta dabble with that now. I got um I am able to monetize, but I still haven't like done it. So it takes a while once you you know, once you get to the monetization, you have to sort of go through that process and Punk's been helping me out a little bit here and there. Um with suggestions and whatnot, so I appreciate that. Yeah, see, yeah, that's with live streams. It's still um, a work in progress. With the the editing, the stuff that goes out is sort of an evergreen canned video. It's easier just because I have that script, and literally, I just copy and paste sort of like the script that I've used since day one and then just cut out the middle and then pop it all in. So it's always at the end of the script and I just read the script for me for the voiceover. So. But yeah, for this live stream, I will have a hard time remembering to say at the end of it, you should smack the like and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> 
And I need to get better about that because I have pretty good watch time on my lives after the fact. Mm -hmm. You got a good good mount coming back to, to yeah. view. Huh? And there are a lot of people who don't like who aren't here this morning who are actually tomorrow, like when they're in their car or whatever, sort of listen to it. Um, so right. I've, got, I've got pretty decent watch time after the fact for live streams, especially right. the solo live streams for the Masters of the Universe thing. Mm -hmm. um, there are apparently people who like hearing me talk about because it gets a little unhinged when it's just me in the chat. <laughs> I know that's so hard to believe based on the conversation we've had this evening. <laughs> but um, it gets a little, it's a little bit. I tend to share a little bit more about the Carls and the Pratt Falls and whatnot. So yeah. But people apparently like stuff. It's the same reason probably I used to read The Inquirer. <laughs> oh, this is a train wreck. I'll never be as messed up as that chick. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so. But because of that, though, I, I try to. It's one of the motivations for getting people like yourself that I know will um, are interactive and have stuff to say and. Oh, yeah. Um, otherwise, it's boring, and they don't have anything to pay attention to tomorrow whenever on the rewatch. So. Right, right. Exactly. I mean, I would assume sort of the same with your stuff. I, uh, I've i noticed that people are watch rewatching my lives, and um, I had one that, like, normally if... I get a hundred over a little over a hundred views on a live. I'm doing good um, mm -hmm. within a 24 hour period, but I had one that jumped up to three something. And um, it was one of my just working on diorama lives and it got me kind of excited. I was like, well, that's cool. I was like, obviously a lot of people were interested. And yep. so we said it was airtight, right? Yep. That's what we're going with the airtight. All right. <laughs> So, well, I think especially with uh, sort of I your diorama, I, I know I've watched um, some of the um, Zartan's layer videos a couple because I'll have it up while I'm during the day when I'm at work. Mm -hmm. so I won't always watch the whole, I won't see the whole thing with my eyes. Um, so, I'll end up replaying it so I can catch what I missed. So, when no, you see yeah. sort of the replay or whatever. Um, you know, because you'll see more watch time, but it won't always reflect that there's been a new view. Um, sometimes that's me, like, trying to watch it because I'm like, oh, whoa, how did you do that? Let me go rewatch it. <laughs> uh, so I, I think you definitely, with your content, have that going for you, though. Well, thank you. Because you're making stuff that people, you know, and you're making it in a way where it's, you know, like, I've watched, and I don't, you know, like, I don't know if you've ever watched Nerd Forge here on mm -mm. YouTube. No, she I'll check it out amazing though. Amazing stuff. Like she makes epic stuff. But I also watch it. I'm like, there's no way I can ever make that mm -hmm. because it's really complex and it's really, you know. And I mean, she also is somebody who's fortunate enough that YouTube is her job at this, you know, content creation is her job. So, like, of course, she can do this really epic, elaborate stuff. But um, oh, yeah. she makes amazing. But I also watch it. And I'm like, it's more like watching it just to see it happen because I'll never. You know, like, I'll, I don't have the time, the money, or the equipment to make this sort of stuff she made. Like, her most recent one, she made, like, a robot prop for a movie mm -hmm. to use for on set. So, like... Oh, wow. Yeah, so, you know, like, the sort of, you know, ama amazing work, right? <laughs> I don't want anyone to think I'm sort of, like, down-talking what she does. But it's just, it's not... You're, the stuff you do, I can see myself making, and like you break it down in a way where it's really easy to see how you could make it. So, yeah, I think that sort of probably helps a lot because people can are rewatching it so they can figure out what you did and take notes. And so, you know, Pano says, uh, I tell people to dislike and comment. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Well, he makes, you know, he makes that really spicy content. So oh yeah. Oh, and yeah, thank you, Thanos, for the Valentine um, photo. That was lovely. I, I sent it right to my wife, and she thought that was mine. And um, she's like, 
do we need to go see a therapist or it's okay i already have one <laughs> i said the community already has a therapist that we were able to talk to yeah, we're, good. <laughs> we're fine <laughs> no but she laughed she she was like wow she's like uh you guys have some free time yeah <laughs> it's like it's all fun happy valentine's day <laughs> right and it's just you know Thanos makes fun stuff like i love his stuff it's awesome it, and but some of it is also Thanos. There are some we both know that there are some people who would make that same content. We'd be like, "Oh my god, what is you know like?" Right, right. And just is, knowing his uh, personality from the live streams and stuff, I I totally it helped me yeah. understand him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's also like humor to the, <clears throat> you know, there's humor to what he does. It's not. I don't know how to explain it. Dark um, humor. Yeah, yeah, or sassy humor. Yeah, there are people who could make try to do content like him where I would be like, I don't want to say offended because it's not, but I would just be grossed out and be like, I can't believe unfollow. <laughs> I wouldn't show it to my grandma, yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be table talk. <laughs> yeah, even if my grandmother was still alive, I wouldn't show it to her. But. <laughs> Um, yeah, she would. We watch, I mentioned this in Punk's Thursday stream the other night because he was going through all the um, like the Zucker movies, um, Airplane, Naked Gun, all of those. Yeah, and when we watched the Naked Gun the first time, my grandmother was there, and for the most part, it was fine. And then there was the part where um, the statue, like, I don't know if you've seen it, but. Basically, Frank Drebin is out the window and he falls and he grabs onto a statue's junk. Mm -hmm. And it gets a. Um, the statue basically com comes to attention, if you will. Oh, and okay. It breaks off, so he has this big, giant concrete. Um, so, anyway, when they arrest, <laughs> you know, they're li later listening, and then he, br he f goes through someone's window and he's like, sort of lurching toward this woman and he has it in his hand and it's like they're later reading the charges off and she's like assault battery breaking and entering assault with a concrete dildo <laughs> but my grandmother had already left the room she left as soon as like, <laughs> the, 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 know, the right time the entered the picture as it were <laughs> and um yeah so sweet it was a little too spicy i think for grandma so <laughs> she was um, very reserved about such things. So. Yeah. I think most grandmas are. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tony, Tony says, Thanos is filthy and I love it. Of course Tony does. Tony can't even not remove himself from groups online. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tony, I probably will give you grief about that for at least another month or two. Um, Fano says, I have had similar questions from real life friends. Hey, actually. Da -da -da. Yeah, because there are people who don't get it, and that's fine. Um, it's sort of the um, place that I've come to with sort of the unfollows, because I'll get certain content that I do where people will unfollow me. But it also tends to be people who followed me for only a certain type, you know, like a certain, they're like, oh, she does Barbie, great. And then I'll do Masters of the Universe or whatever, and they unfollow. Or mm. vice versa. They're like, why am I following this page that does Barbie shit? Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, like, I think in the beginning I felt a little weird about it, but as I've sort of figured out like what my content as far as the coloring content is like I'm okay with it because I would rather have the people that get the fact that I you know retro toy princess isn't retro action figure princess I'm not retro doll princess retro toy um right. which is why in a couple of weeks when I drop my Kenner Star Wars puzzle video and I lose a few people I'm like it literally retro toys are puzzles people um, <laughs> right you know, so it's like, I just, 
but it, it takes a little while, I think. I think it takes it does take thick skin to do YouTube. Yeah, you're you're definitely putting yourself out there, um, you know, introducing people into your personal life, and because that just comes with it too. It's it's natural and yeah, and you have to be um, confident, but um, also willing to understand that well, I'm not going to be right all the time and. Um, you have to be humble enough to be corrected in a, in a polite way. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not for everyone. <laughs> and, you know, like I think we're not, I don't know that we're always conditioned to, like, be okay with that. Like, yeah. And I, I think I have finally started to make peace with the fact, you know, hopefully I'm going to be really old really soon. Uh, like, soon, really old. Uh, <laughs> But I'm, it's also kind of made YouTube easier once it sort of clicked. Like, I'm not going to be for everyone. And I really need the people who are into what I'm going to be doing to, like, like my stuff and watch my stuff so that, um, so just so that you build the right community around you. And, you yeah. know, it gets yeah. good, you know. Like, I think I've been feeling really happy the last month about sort of the people so let's see giraffe just subscribe to thanos copter i look forward to unsubscribing in the future and then subscribing again i like vicious cycles this is how <laughs> curious as far as what giraffe has shared of his life so <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Then... oh there's stanley's toy he's been quiet today but i know you've been here stanley so hello again Oh, there's Derek. Hello, Derek. What's up, Derek? Uh, and then down south, the core group is this communication is awesome. Yep, exactly. Yeah. I talk yeah. to down south all the time. We uh, we chit chat back and forth. Have a great time with him. And that's the thing. I chat. There are a lot of, you know, like you and I were for a few days there going sort of back and forth with toy stuff. Mm hmm. And it's just, I don't know, it's really nice to, like, especially for me, it's nice to be able to, you know, like, a spoiler alert to the dudes watching this. It's really nice to chat with dudes about stuff and not have them assume um, that it means anything more than I like talking to people. <laughs> right. Right. You know? We're just here to conversate. Yeah, like I'm, things we yeah, like. Yeah, it's, not, it's retro toy princess. It's not retro single princess who needs. Like, <laughs> right. I'm, you know, and it's, but it's. I haven't, but again, I haven't run into that a lot with sort of the corner of toy tube I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, previous places I've hung out, that has been a problem. I've only, to be fair, since I started my channel i've only gotten three dick pics oh, okay. and that's pretty good i've been doing you're this doing better than me <laughs> right uh, uh, i'm man, sure you get the amount of dick pics that i had to weed through on the daily uh, i bet like, oh my goodness like, sometimes it just they're amazing <laughs> people are like wow i really just, i was watching your content and i thought and that was that was the one time I almost stopped. I'm like, I'm just going to get off the internet. Because it literally was like, I was watching your content. And this was before I had anything where I was actually on camera. It was all just shorts with my hands in it. And I was like, I don't mm -hmm. I don't want to think about what that implies, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> I was watching your stuff today. And it was really good. And thank you. Thank you. I watch your stuff and all the time. Yeah, right. And he was like, this is what I thought of your content. And I was like, well, that's not very much, is it? So, um, <laughs> which is what I replied. I'm like, obviously, you don't think a lot of my content based on this picture you have sent. Um, so he did. I, I'm pretty sure that was the person who unfollowed me that day. So, anyway. I love your crimson, man. Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah, it came out pretty good. It's um, just a little layout real quick. Yep, oh, wow. it is Prismacolor yeah. Scarlet Lake. So it's very scarlet-y. So I don't I don't have enough 
pencils that 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 good i have to i'm definitely going to upgrade my pencil kit after when today. you're ready just if you need a little sort of pointers on sort of what to get where to get it and whatnot let me yes. know yes yeah. please, please do i'm going to upgrade my tools because i'm obviously in crayola land but there's not you know like prismacolor which is what i use is pretty you know like People talk about it spendy. If you buy the entire set with all of the colors, yeah, it's pretty spendy. But you can put, you know, like sort of one of these little sets, which is specialized. This is the landscape set. This is generally on available like through Amazon, this set and a couple of other sets for like 10 to 13 bucks, depending on, you well, know, that ain't bad. How not bad, you know, it's less than when I buy open stock, which is where you just buy it pencil by pencil to replace it. Yeah. That's really two bucks a pencil. It's way cheaper to get the sets. Um, but there are things other than Prismacolor. So um, these are just sort of my favorite. But these are also like what I used in college when I liked art class. Okay. It was like the, the teacher was like, this is what you have to use to do real art with colored pencils. Um, and of course it clicked, but yeah. when you're looking to upgrade, if you want some suggestions or pointers, I can, there are a couple of different companies making pencils that are quote unquote budget pencils, but are still really good. So, nice. You know, so uh, if you, if you want suggestions or whatever, just let me know and I'll help. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Just send me the links. Send me them in uh, Insta and yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> That's a great point for the shilling. Yeah, I'll send you my Amazon affiliate links for the various pencil sets you can use. And if you're at home watching now and you're curious, those will be down in the description after the video goes up. Afterwards. Nice. I'll well, get there well. eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I've made almost, ooh, I say made, it, you don't get it until you hit a, but I've hit almost $5 through my Amazon affiliate program. So <laughs> thank you to Lawrence and the two other people who have bought things. Yes. And I, you know, like every little bit helps. Yes. And by the way, congratulations on hitting the 500 mark. Thank you. That's a very awesome achievement. It's I know cool. I, it was uh, very, very hard for me to hit that. And when I finally got the 500, I was like, oh my goodness, is like, um, this is this is starting to take off. It's and it seemed weird. like. Once you once you get over those little hills, that it, it like just carries itself. It's it's very yeah. Very I, hit, strange. I hit five hundred, I think, on Friday. Nice. And it's like all of a sudden, instantly, like there was sort of a difference in as far as how much YouTube is showing my stuff. I don't quite have yeah. the watch time yet because unfortunately, shorts don't really count toward watch time. Um, right. But you know, hitting five hundred for me, it's I've got. I've got little channel goals that I've set. And for me, my 2024 Q1 goal was uh, 500 subscribers, which March is part of Q1. So I'm ahead by a month. And I nice. Um, That's awesome. It was that, and I've got certain watch time goals, and I'm ahead of my watch time goals. Um, so I'm, I've am i been pretty happy. Like, And, you know, like you're here. Last week I had... Um, Corey from Make Shape Create Elder came on. Yes, yes. And they both brought original art, which is cool. Because I obviously love the old coloring books and have sort of goals as far as coloring these. But it's also cool to do the art. I've been really fortunate, knocking on wood again, that so far everyone I've invited or who has asked if they can come on that I've had on have been enjoyable. You know? Yeah. And I know that may not always be the case. There may be people I invite on here who seem fun but aren't. Right. I noticed that in some people's live streams. I'm not pointing out anyone specific, but sometimes like the chemistry of the two people just don't click and um, yeah. you know, they overstep each other and it's hard to communicate at those times and Yeah, like I've yeah, same. And there are a few people that um I also, but I also though have tried for the most part when I invite people to pick people who are. Um, I haven't really gone after anyone who has like twenty thousand subscribers or more because it's just like I don't want. 
it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So it's that can that can seem a little pressuring too, or a little a little bit because they're going to bring their audience. Whereas your audience, I hang out in your chat enough that it's like anyone that comes over because you're hanging out here. I've probably either chatted with before or they're cool. Right. Because it's like you have a cool chat. So like, thank you. Right. Yep. Yep. We are. Um, we are developing uh, this this community, and that's that's you know of a reason of why I have such good people is um, from hanging out with you guys in your chats and just learning and um, getting to know people. You know, just just yeah. meeting them. Um, it's been a pretty good experience. Yeah, uh, you're doing. I mean, it's funny because you're like you've been you know seven months. You were saying like you're really new to technically. I mean, I think most. Most, I mean, Lawrence obviously has been going a couple of years now, um, mm -hmm. but for the most part, I think I don't know. A lot of the people, sort of in the little sort of communities that I'm in, most of the people haven't been at it more than like a year or two, right? Um, and I've noticed, you know, and it's sort of cycle like a cycle. I think there are some of the bigger toy tube channels that are starting to sort of, um what's the right work it's not like they're not crashing and burning but it's just like they're sort of winding down you get to a point right. where like it's gonna run out of steam i think especially and uh, you know like this isn't and this isn't being rude or not trying to be rude it may come across or sound rude but i think a lot of the channels that are focused mostly on toy news i think those people have a bigger burnout rate because it's really about having to get those clicks and have the newest news and right and sometimes the news is not is not okay. have enough enough stuff to like bring together some yeah. things so so you know and again that's kind of why i've avoided for the most part doing that kind of stuff because like i don't want to i think lawrence is in a good place because even though he does do toy news he does in a way where the focus of the show is mostly him ranting so right right he he adds a lot of personality to his show that comes with that and that that is follows into like how much work are you willing to dump you know into your show and and how much effort and everything and he he's a great example of of successful well um, even if right even if it's a slow news week lawrence is still gonna have content for us to go watch yes yep and i don't know if that's true of you know some of the channels i watched that was very much the truth that one point where they still slow news or not but it's just i think if you build a certain way like i think it i think it's just harder um yeah. to maintain it because you know there was a great moment i remember I was watching lawrence one night and um it was a slow news week and um you know he just reached out to uh tony figs and people like that and um within minutes you know he's on he's on a live stream doing a lot within minutes he's got a whole crowd of people that we can conversate and talk and i was like man i was like i had a smile on my face that whole time when that was going on i was like this is really great how he can just reach out and at the click of a button or sending a link instantly have friends yeah. that have his back and and that's when um that was one of the moments where i was like man this is really a really great group of people i've been introduced to and i feel lucky to be part of it honestly so. <clears throat> really quite crusty old crow thank you very much and that's also partly for you aaron <laughs> so a good channel entertain entertains us a great channel connects us you both have great channels that's true thank you thank you crow you have a great channel too sir i love listening to you on the way home and um that's that's how i spend most of my my drives coming back out of atlanta is listening to crow and brushing up and i'll i'll set my phone on my speedometer and let's sit there and listen to crow and occasionally glance down like i'm checking the speed or something once in a while i ain't gonna lie crow i i peek at everything you do <laughs> i subscribed to him i think last week um mm -hmm. i have not gone and watched his content yet um i've stuck it in i have a playlist that um and that's where i go whenever it's like going to be a long day and i don't want to have to click around for videos or whatever right um, so sort of and that's what i did when i first i mean obviously yeah you first popped up because of uh lawrence's chat 
Right. That, that was the started. first place I've ever uh, popped up on a lot. He had that. He has. The, if you're a member of Lawrence, he has that pit pass. Yeah, and that, that was, was the first live I've ever popped in. Yeah, you popped in, and I was like, "Who is this person?" And he's like, "All right, well, I'll check him well, out later." But I, I saved a bunch. I of gotta break the ice somehow. <laughs> yeah, right. And um, but, so I've got a bunch of crow stuff in my in my watch later list, so that the next time, which will be sometime this week or next, where I just schedule an entire day where I do nothing but work on pages, so that I can work. And I find that often, um, especially for ToyTube, is um, how I digest it best, where I have a bunch of episodes to, like, watch. Right. And, then, and then I get a sense of, who, like, the channel's voice and the person who's hosting it. And um, Yes. I'm, I'm, when I'm surfing through YouTube, especially on my lunch breaks, and I don't have a time to obviously watch all those shows... I'm constantly saving for watch later, yeah. watch later, my watch later list. And then when I'm like working or I'm sitting down, I'm back at home, I got free time, I just pop that on and uh, let it rip. So it keeps me company some nights. Yes. <laughs> there are quite a few shorts that you guys are all responsible for because you're the only reason I made it through that night. <laughs> so I should start doing that. I should start doing that. I should start um, when I upload shorts if it was something i watched uh, colored while watching your channel or whatever i should start tagging you yeah i'm gonna I, i'm gonna do the same that's a good idea you know just so that people I did know. this while i was watching you know and because yeah. it, it, it is a it is a fascinating thing to um you know to be able to to watch a channel but also like be productive that productive at the same time yeah. To the point where, like, at the end of your night, you're like, wow, I watched that channel. I threw in some great comments. I've learned some new tricks on that channel. I got yeah. some stuff done that I was, you know, and then you feel like you completed. Part. Yeah. This is what I like, mindlessly watching content when, um, when there's some art or, well, I mean, what you do is art. I don't want to. Well, thank you. I don't know if you speak of it that way, but it's definitely very much. It's more. Um, I don't know. Like what? I don't know. Somebody referred to what I did as high art, I and mean, like it's not. It's oh, I, I would definitely refer to you as the artist, and <laughs> from what I do. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, and I, maybe that's something I need to. I should work on because I don't. You know, like I don't. I don't feel like what I do is something. Even people who say they don't have artistic talent, I still feel like most people can do what I do if they have time to do it. Right. Um, I don't think it takes a lot of, and I've had people, well, you know, the color choice, it's like you can easily get um, tools online that will give you like color choices and stuff where it's like, it'll give you a palette to work with. Like it just, it's a practice thing with color pencils and coloring. Yeah. That's kind of why I like it though. Like, you know, there's certain art things that not everyone can do. Or can right. do really easily. I think coloring has a lower threshold. And I think people who are creative and do art stuff are happier. And I think too many people have bought into the idea that they can't do art. Mm -hmm. um, you may not be able to sell your art. Like you're not gonna a thousand years from now, you're not gonna be in the museum. I'm not gonna be in a museum next to um the Mona Lisa or whatever. Like I'm you know, I'm never gonna have anything. A hundred years from now, that's in a gallery. I hope not. Like I, I, I fear for future society if they're like my these coloring pages are on, <laughs> like, on the wall of the future museum. And, you never know. You never. You know. never know. But um, the way that. But anyway, I think. But I think a lot of people don't create stuff because that's a barrier that we create for ourselves, or it's like it has to be super meaningful it has to be important it has to be higher and it's like i think did you have a good time making it right did it help right. your mental health like at the end of it did you accomplish something that made you happy yes and <laughs> I, I want to um express something before i forget to the viewers right now doing this like i said i, I haven't colored sat down and colored in a long time i'm extremely relaxed right now i feel real good this has been very enjoyable. So if you guys have not 
been been doing this sitting down and coloring definitely give it a try and um i wanted to do that to like to re rekindle with this feeling that i i know i once had and um man i'm telling you it's it's coming all back for sure so very relaxing Thank coloring you. like this and yeah. this comment from crusty crow that's kind of why i do it this way like i have a guest on sundays and hang out and converse um you know, like it's, it's relaxing, but it's also, you know, we are, we're accomplishing something in this stream and oh my goodness, we are getting pretty close to the two hour mark, um, which I know you have sort of life and my phone will soon die, but I'm getting oh, pretty no. close to being done. So um, oh, I'm super close. I'm almost wrapped up. I just got a little more crimson to yeah, do. We'll, and, and I'm We'll go until either you finish or my phone dies, whichever happens first. Okay. Um, I don't want to rush, but also like two hours, it's, you've, you know, like it's a lot of time to ask of people. And, um, oh, no, no, I don't mind. I'm a, I have a, I have a person coming over to buy some RC equipment so and that's, go. that's in about 45 minutes. Okay, cool. So, so we are super good. Yeah. Okay, super cool. good so, yeah. I just, that was sort of my concern was I'm going to make these missiles like orangey red even though i know they're like gray on the toy this is one yes. of the few big joke other than the flag um mm -hmm. that we have in our house i loved i would put it in our we had one of those big pools in the yard the uh, above the ground ones mm -hmm. um, and i would go it actually i don't know if it was supposed to float but it floated pretty good so <laughs> Yeah, some of these uh, I wanted to change the color of my missile too, but I was like, oh, I'll just go with it because yeah, it is it is thrown in there. Did you see the little bit of yellow on the side of the missile for the sticker? There's a little yeah. lightning bolt sticker there. Yeah. Let me quickly put yours um, so I'll lay out really quick. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks yeah, really good. Going. I Sorry. really. <clears throat> No, you're fine. I like the texture that you are getting with your colors and the way that Thank the you. way you're doing the shade. It's giving it a really nice texture. Uh, now, I, what I would do from here is just uh, you know, enhance it until things are darkened up a little more. But I, yeah. I, I always like to approach it subtle. Yeah, I, yeah. No, there's nothing. I mean, that's sort of the the one disadvantage to the way I do the shorts is like. You, you know, you finish it and it's not like I'm going to go back, but right. for the most part, I will sit and pick at it. I like to get a solid um, sort of everything done and then just go back and sort of shade it more. Yes. When I'm it just for myself, but. And you can, and I could do that for like, I, I remember, you know, color and picture. I could do, I could sit there and then shade on stuff that I worked on and go yeah. over it, you know, and, and just like enhance it, you know, and refine it uh, over yeah. and over until. You know, you're just happy with it. That, and that, yeah. And that is something I want to try to do is, um, you know, because I also need to, what one of the things that is my goal <clears throat> for this year is not everything in these old books needs to be for a video, like on video. Right. So I'm going to start <clears throat> having a, sort of a stack of some of the pictures just on my desk and through the day as I sit here at work and just sort of pick up them and sort of see what I can, because then it's, you know, I've got a little bit more time with them. I'm not sort of trying to film a video that I want to get done in like two or three hours. Like I'm curious to see the difference that makes in the way the pictures look at the end of it. So. Right. If you were to just take a, uh, some more, some more time on it. Yeah. Just sort of have it here for, sort of my eight hour work shift and right work i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna i'm gonna pick a picture i'm going to shade and shade and shade on it yeah see how good i can get because i definitely need the practice I'm, i know i've been out for a while and well you know i think we sort of live in a world where like stuff like this is not we're not really encouraged to do creative stuff. We have to, you know, again, like even, even you and I with sort of how we're creative on YouTube, we've also both sort of been like, it's, um, it's allowed and acceptable because technically we can make money off of this. So. Yeah. It's um, great to be inspired though. And, and to, 
to yeah. get that, that motivation flow. And, and it definitely comes from stuff like this. Oh yeah. Um, Cause I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be you doing YouTube or live streams if I wasn't inspired by people like you and Lawrence and to uh, be brave enough to go out there and put yourself out there like that. Yeah. It takes a lot sort of to get over that hurdle, but once sort of once you hit, and I think there's also sort of the layer. Um, I think everyone goes through the, the point where it's like you get comfortable enough with it that you're always going live and mm -hmm. you just have to take that step back and sort of do the assessment of like how much because it takes a lot of energy to go live like um yeah because you're on for the whole time it's not like you know even when you're just hanging out with friends ha having a conversation like we are it's normal for there to be sort of I don't want to call or like quiet moments where you're just sort of sitting there and it's like with this, with this sort of coloring pages that happens and it's not as disruptive as it would be, but it's not like you could, you know, Lawrence can't, does, even if Lawrence has a guest, it's not like you can have five or 10 minutes where it's just quiet. Like mm -hmm. yeah. whereas with the coloring and even with what you do, you know, with the dioramas and building stuff, like you can have moments of quietness. Um, yeah. And so, it's okay, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, so that was sort of uh, the solo live streams I do on Friday. Sort of finding, remembering to turn the music on so that I can have a few quiet moments here and there where it's just sort of coloring and I don't need to fill it with words. No. So, I don't know. It is definitely sort of finding that spot where it's like everything comes together. Yeah, happy medium. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, like I'm still learning chat. Obviously, I'm really behind. <laughs> like, <laughs> I go through everything. Hmm. Yeah, exactly, Derek. Derek will be on here at some point. Um, okay, wait. We did that one. It's this next one. Nice, thank you. Had a, had a mouse malfunction for a minute. No, there it is. <laughs> Crazy mouse. Mine does that all the time. So are you are you wrapped up? Did you get it? Um yes, I'm pretty much all right. pretty much wrapped on mine. Main screen right now. And besides, you know, obviously the, what we we're just talking about, I could sit there and yeah. shade and shade and shade. That's really good. Like Thank that. you. I'm sorry about the crappy camera, guys. I there really is. do have one coming in, so the next live stream will be much better. No apologies. Um, I am going to ask you to uh, take a picture of it, even with it not sort of where it's going to end up, and just pop it up on Instagram and tag me in it so I can see Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And that way, people who didn't make the live today who will watch, they, they have an idea of what um, to look forward to. Nice. Also, that they can follow you back to your page and follow you. Um, and really quick, I'm gonna throw mine on. I'm gonna throw mine up. I did not actually get to any of the people. I got almost everything else. But I'm gonna yes. when we wrap up. I'm gonna go have some lunch because it's about time for me to eat. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll put it up on Instagram in a little bit. I love how vibrant it is. I love your rocks and everything. It looks great. Yeah, I mean, that was sort of why I was like, I wanted to, I almost did like you did with the green, but I'm like, I want the red of the ship to really pop. Yeah. So that blue and that green and. Um, like the, the rocks look highlighted way better than mine, but they look great. It takes, I went in with the darker brown and then just sort of did all of the, I got all the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> I made the cracks dark with stuff with brown darkness. Anyway, but once they go in and sort of all the characters, there'll be those pops of color. You need yeah. to look up airtight anyway to see what airtight looks like. Yeah, I had to pull them up in my book. Airtight is yellow with green helmet and green. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show yeah. them real quick. Okay. I actually, this is one of the few figures I had as a kid. 
There he is. Um, He's yellow with a black chest plate and green, green yeah. like uh, straps. Yeah. No, I used him. He was one of Princess Leia's honor guards as a kid. Oh, okay. So yeah, I actually had it airtight. Um, not one of my brother's figures, one of mine, because, like I said, that was yeah. But okay, yeah, so definitely because he's like this bright yellow with a little green. She's Lady J is all green. Definitely. Yeah, when you pick, when you pick these two pictures, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out my toys so I have all yeah. my visual, um you know, to, to cross reference. So <laughs> and this looks like, let's see, roadblock. Looking it up now. I would have done this if we had gotten this far, but <clears throat> this looks like uh the first roadblock because he has the bare arms without yeah. leaves. So and I, I wasn't too quite sure, so I just brought them both out. Yeah. I did the uh, I brought the V one and the V two. <laughs> yeah. I had V two Yeah. It definitely looks like this one sitting up there. Yeah. yeah, so the, with the brown, he'll pop. So I'll yeah. probably, I might, I might change the colors of his outfit just so that it he stands out a little bit more. Anyway, all right. Well, it is two hours and six minutes, and my phone just said I've got ten percent left. Oh. You're finished, so <laughs> it's probably time for us to wrap this up. I'm sure mine's close to dead too. I can't see it from where it's sitting at me. <laughs> yeah, I had to do this and be like, oh wait. Yeah, thank you for the uh, stream yard uh, tricks. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, we will. Oh, really quick, we're wrapping up, but one last thing needs to be said Moby is trash. Just Moby is trash. Don't forget, don't forget Moby is trash. <laughs> All right, um, so we're good. Um, <clears throat> mine is as done as it's going to get right now. Um, so let's wrap it up. Aaron, where can the people find you? Um, you can find me on my YouTube, um, Facebook, and Instagram. All you have to do is uh, type in Aaron the Toy Enhancer, and I'm sure it'll pop up and hit me up and follow me and see what our next little projects will be. We have a bunch of them coming up through the summer here. Excellent. Um, and also the description of the video, I have I tagged you in it, so that will follow Aaron back to his YouTube channel. Pretty sure know. everyone here... Um, and chat today is a, probably knows who you are, probably subscribed. Um, if not, <laughs> thank you, thank you. The rewatch people, it'll be more important for I think. <laughs> um, I appreciate. Yeah. And everyone, just thank you so much, Alex. You have a good day. I appreciate you. And same Thanos and down south. Oh, I didn't click. Oh, that's Derek again. Um, <laughs> thank you, Down South. And thank you, Krusty Old Crow. <laughs> yes, thank you, everyone. Moby is trash. Yeah, I'll be in <laughs> chats tonight. I have no life. Um, I joke. <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, as for me, um, there are daily shorts for a little while longer, so definitely check those out. I will be live next Sunday. I'm still finalizing my guests, so um, keep an eye out for that. And knock on wood, this Wednesday, my um, He-Man and Battle Cat video will go live where I talk about the history of Battle Cat a little bit. Oh, and nice. Then, uh, that would be awesome. Have the old kid stuff, He-Man and Battle Cat record. My boyfriend, Matt, narrated it from, as he did with the Castle Grayskull video, and I colored the pictures. Um, awesome. so that'll, fingers crossed, land this Wednesday. Yeah, the 28th. So yeah, um, so I've got stuff coming up and there's at some point Brick and I reviewed the new Sectars figure together. I did uh, the lady figure and he did Dargon um, and we both filmed it and we did two different episodes of, the, yeah, so it'll be fun. That'll happen soonish so <laughs> wow you have a lot in the works that sounds very interesting i, I have way too much going on so <laughs> overachiever, overachiever. Hey. anyway that's good stuff <laughs> right anyway thank you again aaron and thank you to everyone watching i am allison yeah. short retro toy princess and we are out catch you on the next